Hello everyone, my name is Sam and this is Civil Gamers City RP. We have another game mode which is Dark RP, but City RP is almost the same thing except it just has a few touches of PEP and all those other more serious full play modes. Like as you can see now, you know, to be a police officer you'd have to talk to that police officer there and etc. First thing I'll talk about is the download speed to get into the server. It took quite a while, thank god I've already got EVO installed, otherwise I'd have probably been sat there for 20-30 minutes. It took me about 10 minutes to get in this game and then it didn't work, so I had to join again. Thankfully the second attempt wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, if, if you're patient enough and you've already got like, the map, uh, you should be alright. As you can see, once I leave this menu, um, that the starting cache is super low. I think it was only 1000 that I started with. I didn't really think too much of it until I actually got more into the game. I decided to be a hitman at first. I think the salary was like $50 every paycheck, which I'm like, okay, fair enough. So, uh, someone gives me a hit, it's the mayor, and uh, I realise I've got no gun. Um, as you can see in my hands right now, that's a little passport, I didn't understand what that was. Like it, that wasn't me. That wasn't my name. That was slightly weird. And um, this is an ATM. Uh, you've probably seen it before if you've played Bob World Players. It's a pretty smart system. This is just me trying to figure out how to get it in. You've got to touch the screen. Um, but yeah, it's a smart idea. You c keep uh, money safe in your bank, and if you die with say if ten grand on you, you know it's possible you lose five or something. That I might get the figures wrong, but you lose more money if you've got more money on you so it's best to keep it in your bank. So as I started to be a, a hitman, um, went to the gun shop realising I can't afford any of the bloody guns that I've been that I need to, to, to kill the mayor because I've got such small starting cash. Um, so then uh, I ended up buying a printer, I'm making my way there now, I just decided to show a bit of the journey in case you haven't seen this map before. It's a very very big map. So to get money I'd have to buy a money printer, however the only money printer you can afford is the worst one, which isn't such a, a bad thing, cause, you know, it means you've got to progress, but for for a, a server that you know gives you the job to be hitman, yet you can't be a hitman until hours into the game, I think that's a bit broken. And while I'm on the subject of jobs, I felt the uh, time limit for m many of these jobs are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you can you can be a hitman straight up, you can be a couple other jobs, I can't quite remember. But I tried to be a bus driver, you've got to play a few hours for that, you've got to be a, to be a taxi driver, you've got to play a few hours. For a, for a certain job, what was it, let me look in my notes, for secret service, 1,300 minutes to be secret service. You, I think that's you could, only a few hours to be a police officer, but for secret service, it's God knows how many. And the secret service isn't a particularly hard job, you just follow the mayor around and if anyone tries to kill him you, 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 you protect him, that's all the secret service is. I wasn't a fan of the money printers, I've, I've dealt with these money printers before on another server and they annoy me, I don't like how the uh, the, the temperature rises and then if you haven't got a fan on them uh, they blow up. At first I was, I was like oh, okay so you buy the fan and you're safe but no, the fan will stop, it will break at some point so you could uh, be out of your house, the fan breaks, the temperature rises and and your money printer has gone and for someone who hasn't got a lot of money to replace that that's put a big dent in your in your savings so you've got to just sit around and stare at this money printer it just makes the gameplay a bit boring. In conclusion with the money side of it the server deals with the economy like I think ultimately well even though I've just been you know talking bad about it um it's, it 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 shows dedication like players will grind so they don't end millions within the first few hours which is a good thing however the way they've done it such as you can't be bus driver you can't be taxi other civilian ways of getting money you only you can, you only have to, you can only be civilian and 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 have money printers that are annoying to do i think that's a missed opportunity and if if someone who can change that is watching, you know, I highly suggest that that's the steps you take. And with my next point, I think I'm nitpicking a bit, but it just annoyed me a bit because 
it, it put me out of my way a bit. I'm on the other side of the map, I'm looking at some police jobs, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll be that police job. I click on it, the photo's created, and it says, oh no, you need to apply in the Nexus building. So I'm like, oh, well, why is it in the F4 menu? So I go all the way to the Nexus building. I haven't got a car at this point, cars are expensive. I go all the way to the Nexus building, photo's created, and, oh, and boom, I have to wait 300 minutes. So running around the map, you know, just put me out of my way a bit. Showing you earlier the hood when the video first started, I uh, I thought the hood looked really nice, even though it's it, I know it's a standard, straightforward one, but you know I like that. I hate hoods that try to be all in your face. Oh look what we can do, what we can do. No, just give us a sim simple one that does everything we want: the command tabs, the job tabs, etc., etc. It's all there, right in your face, and you know exactly what you're doing. I like that. You don't need to change that. While building my base, I was a little disappointed that you didn't have stacker, and I also was a bit like my previous review. I mentioned this too. I've never come across a server that uh, blacklists, you know, the main gate that you, you build bases with. I don't know what the exact term for the prop is, uh, but they've blacklisted that. They might have their own reasons, um, but I didn't feel that was necessary. Also, stacker tool was missing. I don't know why. That somewhat someone in chat mentioned that it was um, it's available after a certain time, but I think they was just pulling my tail there. Um, but yeah, stack at all again. The uh, devs might have their own reasons for it, but I think it's quite important, really. Maybe they don't they want people to just buy buildings and not really build these massive upscale bases that you do on Dark Happy. That might be what they're doing, but I don't know. I just think it makes things a lot easier and quicker. The player base I found was very disciplined. I didn't come across any proper minges. Everyone stuck by the rules, and I think the reason is for the admins. Admins were brilliant. I came across one and a really good chat. I uh, broke a rule on purpose just to get his response, and he handled the situation perfectly. I think I showed a small clip of it earlier. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about the admins. I feel like they're really making sure everyone's sticking to the rules, and you know. And I think if someone minges about, just gone, no messing around, do the doing the job perfectly. Well done, guys. Looking at the forums later, um, it was a bit too much for me. I think uh, I was a bit lost. I'm not. I, I've never been interested in forums. I don't usually like hang out in any of them. Uh, and, but I've seen a lot nicer ones than this. I think it's a bit, a bit too much, and I didn't, I didn't just, under, I didn't understand what was happening. Basically, uh, I'm sure people probably won't agree with that one. And if the web designer for the forum is watching, I'm sorry, it's just my opinion. You know, I don't want you guys to think that I'm like a dark happy god. I'm not. I'm just one guy who, who plays a lot of servers and knows the good and bad things. In my own opinion, anyway. On that note, guys, I'll give this an overall rating of 7 out of 10 that is a really good result it's a strong it's a strong 7 so don't be like oh no we need more what lets it down for me is the jobs I, th I think you, that a lot of them are broke for new for a new player I think with the economy the jobs need to make sure that the slow economy you know feels better but it doesn't you, you give no one to work with really unless they just money print all the time and that's what drags it down for me but other than that the community is brilliant, the players are brilliant, and the admins are brilliant. So it's definitely wor worthwhile. There's a lot of things to do in this. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.